Hey guys, so I'm about to do a tutorial. Brandon and I are going on a casual little date night tonight. We just got back from vacation yesterday. We had an amazing time. So we're gonna try out this new place. Um, we're really excited about it. So I figured since I was gonna be doing full glam anyway that I would record it for you guys. So look for the products down below in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe. So I'm going in with the same three primers that I used in my last video. I always use the Murad Oil Mattifying Lotion with SPF, the Step One Primer from Makeup Forever, and for Solly, Rose Gold Oil in that order. It's my favorite base and I use it pretty much every time I do my makeup. Say hi. So since I just got back from vacation, um, I'm a little more tan in my face. I use 70 SPF on my face because um, it's really important to me to protect my face from the sun. But even with sunscreen, like I've always said, you're still going to get tan. So um, my body is definitely tanner than my face if you can see it. Um, so I definitely want to make sure that I match um, and also um, I just don't want my old color obviously to be matching my now really tan body. So instead of mixing um, in my light foundation, I'm just going to go in with my Tarte BB first and this is going to be lighter than my Huda Beauty. Um, and again, I don't know what color that I'm supposed to be. I'm just going to keep blending and mixing until we figure out the right one. So to blend out my foundation, I always use the Huda Beauty makeup brush. And yes, that was a cat hair in my brush and it happens all the time. But I also put the Versali oil on the brush just to help it blend a little more, a little bit more seamlessly across my face. Okay, so I'm done with the foundation. I actually liked the color that it turned out. Um, and again, I can always go back in with bronzer or, um, you know, a little darker of a foundation later, my powder foundation, if I want to make it even darker. I always start out a little lighter in the beginning because it's a lot harder to make something dark. Let's make something dark lighter than it is to make something lighter dark. And I'm still going to be concealing with the same color. Um, and I just do that because when I blend it all out, it's not that much of a contrast. Um, especially with my face not being as tan as my body. It tends to be okay. And again, if I want to go in and blend it more, make it a little less light, I can always do that later. Hi, another visitor, he's camera shy. So now I'm going in with my damp beauty blender just to blend out all of the concealer. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm gonna put quite a bit this time um, everywhere that I just concealed. So today I used a little more setting powder than I normally would on a day-to-day -day look. That's because I'm gonna do a little bit more with my eyes and if, in case there's any fallout during it, um, it kind of sweeps away with that extra setting powder. Mirrors are cool. <laughs> so starting with my Morphe 350M palette. It's basically just matte neutral colors. I'm just going to go in and kind of do a neutral base all over my lid. Let's see. Um, guys, I can't decide. I 
Let's do this color. I'm feeling risky. We'll see. I know we don't really have a set plan. I just know like the color palette I want. And just kind of wing it. Like my eyeliner. All right, so once that color is done, we're gonna go in with one of my favorite palettes ever. It's the Subculture Palette by Anastasia. And now I'm gonna go in with my E17 more brush, and I'm gonna go in with this really cool yellowy orange. It's New Wave. I'm just gonna put this all over my crease. It's really pigmented, so you don't need a lot. Loving it. It's hard to itch when you're doing your makeup. You feel? Uh. And then I'm gonna go back with my Morphe E17 and go in with this darker color from the Subculture palette, it's called Fudge. And very, again, very little bit. I'm just gonna do this um, along my crease on the outer. This mirror, man. Spooky. I'm gonna do it. Um, on my crease on the outer edge of my eye. And again, just blend it out. I'm going back in with that new wave color and kind of going over it a little bit just to make sure it's all blended. So I'm actually gonna take my concealer Take a concealer brush. This is by Vasanti. I don't know, I think I got it in one of those Ipsy bags or bridge boxes, whatever you want, whichever one. I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on my lid. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the end. I'm gonna kind of step three quarters of the way or two thirds of the way, because I still want that dark on the outer edge. And so now I'm gonna go in with this cream eyeshadow. It's from Kylie Jenner's collection. It was a while back, I think almost a year ago. It's called Copper. You can see it. My lighting is terrible today. It's this pretty gold, very shimmery. Um, and I like it to stand out. That's why I do the concealer first. So you can go in with like a concealer brush, um, anything you really want. I'm probably, to be honest with you, just gonna go in with my finger and dab it on there. Now I'm just gonna go back over and blend with the same brush. I haven't put anything on it yet. Um, we'll see if I need to. So now the winged liner. Um, I've always had the worst time with winged liner. Um, and a while back I got eyelash extensions and I stopped even using eyeliner. So I got even worse because I wasn't practicing. Um, but I just watched mom, one of my boyfriend's high school friends' makeup tutorial on how she did her winged eyeliner. And her name's Navy Paul on Instagram and it changed my life. Like it, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. It's honestly simple geometry, but it's genius and I've never seen it. And it could be out there, but I personally have never seen it. And it's the most genius thing I've ever seen. So I use the Tom Ford liquid eyeliner. It comes with two sizes on either end. Um, this is a little bit more expensive, but it never runs and it's an amazing product. I'm just going to go in with the little guy. And first, all I'm going to do is line the top of my eye and not go past um, this outer crease.
literally all she did was start from the middle of her eye and make a direct line horizontally outwards. It's gonna look a little cray, a little ghetto in the beginning, but it honestly works. So you stop where however far you want your winged eyeliner to go. So if you're going for it, honey, I mean, you can go as long as you want. Um, I typically like a nice cat eye, but somewhere in the middle. And about there looks good. And now all you do is literally connect the dots from the outside of your eye up to that little line. Okay, so now I've gotten rid of my setting powder. I finished my brows and now I'm kind of warm up my face. I use the Laura Mercier um, Compact Foundation in 12. Just gonna put this on all the areas that I did not conceal. Now for bronzer, going in with Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Ah, it exploded. Of course it did. Go airplanes. And I use a foundation brush for this because I can. And it's more B27. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring and I'm gonna do uh, my lips actually. So, going in with the Anastasia Contour Palette. Always this color. Nice job. And now to contour my lips, I want the um, sort of like the, this part of my lip over here and then the bottom part of my lip to look bigger. So I'm just gonna contour around it to create like a shadow as if there were more definition there. And for blush, one of my favorites ever and one of my first ever blushes. Um, I thought it was so cool that it's like almost red. This doesn't even do it justice. It's like red. It looks orange here, but it's red. My foundation slash bronzer slash blush pla bleh, bleh, brush brush blush brush. Okay, now we got everything else done besides my highlighter and my lips. Oh, and my lashes, of course. I'm gonna go underneath and do my under eye shadow. So I'm actually gonna use Edge. It's a bright yellow. This is a tiny little guy. This is my Morph E36. And just on the front half of my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this yellow color. The outer side, I'm gonna go back in with New Wave. For my lower lash line liner, I'm gonna use this new eyeliner I got from, for $10 on sale, Kylie Cosmetics, it's Deep Bronze. I don't wanna use black again, I don't want it to be as harsh as the top, because I still want, I still want my eyes to look like they're open. So. 
Josie Moran. Yes. Stay with the theme, go with this orangey glow. It's Daydream by Anastasia Nicole G palette. Okay, highlights done, now it's time for lashes. Since I did a little winged eyeliner, I'm gonna do falsies but I'm gonna I use the trios most of the time and the mascara I'm using the colossal volume express Put a tiny bit about that much. It's not a lot. And then I take my tweezers and pick one of these guys. These have both short and medium length. I think I'm gonna go with short today. Just pick one up. Get it situated. And then just like see I was starting this as a casual date night and I guess now Brandon has to take me to a fancy place no I'm just kidding but this always happens to me I get carried away but I love it I will list all of the products down low in the comments make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment so that I can know you're watching bye guys you say bye He's so uninterested. Can we say bye?